Hello, good afternoon. And today, one of the biggest protests that has ever taken place in Europe is happening as German farmers are going to Berlin and major cities and on many of the motorways and uh, highways in Germany uh, with tractors joined by truckers to protest at the idiocy of the government who is making a war on farmers and farming in Germany. But this is part of the global battle of globalists against ordinary working people, particularly farmers in Germany, and we've seen this in the Netherlands as well, as they impose ever more ridiculous measures to do with combating climate change. Um, but what they're doing is affecting farmers, not realising, or perhaps they are realising, that if they attack farmers with new taxes, and uh, which is what they're doing in Germany, they're going to put a tax, they're proposing a tax on farmers' diesel. Um, they, they get special diesel, as you probably know, agricultural diesel for agricultural use is coloured red and it's tax free uh, in most of the world. But what they want to do in Germany is put a tax on that, tax it like uh, the normal fuel that you would use uh, and, and get in, in, in petrol stations. Uh, and so the price of diesel uh, for farmers, tractors and vehicles is going to go through the roof, which means that small farms in particular are not going to be able to survive because they will have their outlier. Their costs will just increase. They will go up exponentially um, with this new tax on uh, diesel for farms and farmers and uh, tax on agricultural uh, vehicles that they want to do. Uh, and that's going to make lots of farms just uh, go bust, go bankrupt. It's absolutely insane. Um, but in Germany at the moment, you have what they call the traffic light coalition. It's a red, yellow, green coalition. So uh, leftists, socialists, liberals and green parties are in a coalition together. So you can imagine what a disaster that is. Um, uh, and the farmers are out protesting and it is a wonderful sight to behold. They're just hundreds of thousands of ordinary, normal people, working people, um, who just want to get on, uh, bring up their families and go about their businesses and grow food for us to eat. It's insane that a government, uh, which is obviously linked in with all the globalist organisations, you know, the World Economic Forum, etc., the UN and all their climate stuff, the, U the Paris Climate Agreement and, and everything that's, that's going on with that, and they're attacking uh, farmers and uh, what they're doing is going to make it harder and harder to, to grow and produce food, which means that people aren't going to have enough to eat. Well, I'm sure they will have enough to eat if the system goes on and they don't get overthrown by somebody. I'm not I'm not advocating for uh, a violent revolution, by the way, in saying that. But, you know, they, these people, they get on their private jets, they go to um, all these luxury summits around the world and they eat the fine meat and the, the loveliest vegetables but then they say that everybody else should eat less meat and uh, has to survive on a diet of bugs and uh, franken food um, manufactured in a three what is it a, a 3d printing meat factories and so on you know the stuff that is going to be absolutely hideous and carcinogenic that's what they want you and me to eat while they go swanning off around the world and they take a small uh, amount of the best food for themselves while running down the farming industry so ordinary people can't produce food and they can't have enough food they're deliberately creating scarcities on the back of this so-called climate agenda, which says that, oh, people need to cut down carbon dioxide, so we're going to tax uh, farmers' diesel, um, so they can't buy enough diesel to grow anything or make any profit on what they grow, and uh, therefore will go out of business. And uh, yeah, some of the farmers are there, and they are saying, well, that's one of the reasons. Another reason is because um, the government wants to take their land and build on it, build huge new housing estates for um, asylum seekers who are pouring into Europe. And Germany has been uh, particularly hit by very, very high rates of mass rapid immigration 
uh, since 2015, when Angela Merkel was the Chancellor of Germany and opened the doors for uh, millions and millions of refugees to come, or so-called refugees, many of them are bogus asylum seekers, to come to Germany because most of them are military-aged men and uh, they receive free flats and housing. Uh, and so that's the game. It's all linked together. But um, it's fantastic to see so many hundreds of people, not hundreds of people, hundreds of thousands of people um, getting together and fighting back and protesting. And uh, the government of Germany must listen or it must go. It's very simple. Same thing uh, has happened in the Netherlands. And um, the farmers there protested when the government tried to bring in restrictions on nitrogen emissions, which is crazy because, you know, <laughs> farming produce, uses nitrogen because nitrogen is in the fertilizer. That's what fertilizer does. Fertilizer contains nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, uh, the elements that uh, plants need to grow um, more quickly and uh, and provide higher yields of food and produce. And they wanted to uh, close down farms that use nitrogen, that uh, produced nitrogen gases, um, and basically take their uh, highly desirable land, uh, which they could have um, just flipped into um, residential developments and made uh, a quick, massive profit on it from the, their property developer mates, no doubt. That's what that was about in Netherlands. But farmers fought back there. There's been uh, an election in both the upper and the lower house uh, of parliament in the Netherlands, and they've got in a government that now supports the farmers. So in Germany, uh, they need to get rid of that government, um, that insane um, climate alarmist government, which is attacking farmers and uh, instigating a war on food. And this is happening um, all around the world in other countries as well. I mean, Ireland, the insane government in Ireland says that they're going to cull 200,000 cattle. They're just gonna kill half the cows in Ireland because apparently cows produce methane when they flatulate. Yes, they do, because they're cows. That's what cows do but they're part of the countryside. You don't just go and kill um, 200,000 cows because you want to protect the planet. That's destroying the planet. So these people who are climate ideologues, they are trying to destroy the planet to, so they say, save the planet. And part of what they're doing is a war on farmers. Well, uh, all power to the elbow of the German farmers today in their protest and may they be successful and may they keep growing their food and uh, keep foods coming to our plates uh, for the near and the distant future as well. God bless you all farmers.